And we're back. Let's go explore a bit. Yeah, there's another one of those things. And, well, there's a teleporter next to this one. My brother tried to climb one of these white towers. All right. Tried. Yeah, he didn't like it. Old wind farm. Let's see, are we going the right way? Yeah, I want to go to that island, see what's there. Might just be full of... Uh, High level enemies though, I don't know. Hmm. Let's keep going. I will say the environment in this game is uh well, just all in all, I think it looks nice, but also uh, it does this thing that I really enjoyed about. But yeah, that did it better, but that's no contest really. Um, uh -oh. I'll have time. I meant to say Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild had this thing where pretty much anywhere on the map, I think that was actually something that they thought about when they developed the game. Put yourself anywhere on the map and just scan the horizon. There's always something that looks interesting or inviting. And I think this game does that Can pretty we well. Get the fuck out of here. You don't like this part, do you? <laughs> dealt with those before, we can't take them. <laughs> you could help out. Man. Out of stamina. quite a while. Hang on, one moment. All right. Whoa. Put my headphones back on there. Go there, should we go in between? Let's go in between, Let me check it out. Bit of a tangent. Well, I was looking at Baldur's Gate 3 the other day, and as of now, of course, it's still in early access. They have finally. Ooh, are you evil? Yeah. I'll do it. Oh. Ooh. gotten around to giving it a release date it's gonna be August I think August of this year 2023 strong bone marrow soup okay that gives plus armor all right 
plant soup? No. Fried meat? Yes, please. Lice? No. But yeah, I was looking at looking at the game, kind of thinking about should I play that before it goes out of early access? I don't know. At this point, I might as well wait. But at the same time, I'm kind of curious, and it might be a good idea to go play a bit just to figure out kind of maybe what I want to play when it's finally done, and uh, what difficulty would be right. <laughs> same time I'm also a bit reluctant because I own both Divinity 1 and 2 and also the old games but okay so you want to fight sure To admit, I, I didn't finish one or two. That is pretty good. about to say hang on you're dead come on all right yeah i've not finished divinity one or two i played why i played two extensively Clo i think i have like about i think i'm over 100 hours but close to 100 hours in one character but still i got the feeling that i was uh, nowhere near being done Yeah, and I, I have I, a really bad feeling about this place. There's quite a bit of reverb there. And all in all, I don't mind slow games, but yeah, Divinity 2 felt really slow. Or maybe it's just because the way I like to play, just kind of go around, look at everything. Maybe it took a whole lot long longer than it should. I kind of have the same... Hesitation with three. Then again, if it's, you know, if it's really good, then I don't mind. Like, um, well, that's a whole different beast, I guess, but with Elden Ring recently. I really liked Elden Ring. I played it for, I'm like close to 300 hours now. <coughs> But yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Um, there are some people that at some point just say, I'm, I'm done with playing games for uh, such a long while. I'll help. Yeah! This is not true. Come on, get up, get out of there. Hey, you have a crossbow. I was about to say that it doesn't really it doesn't seem really seem to matter what companion we have with with us in terms of um, whoa. So, creature down to me. Might not be able to take him now.
he's on an incline. Get your shield, get your shield. They picked a hell of a location to put this creature. I guess the, the level designer didn't know about the uh, Stay here too long. Well, I think we've already cleared the uh, most of it. Yeah, some construction. Go see a workbench. <coughs> Get some. Uh <coughs> Looking potions made. Yeah, it does seem there is a difference between companions and what weapons they use. So it seems like Ray here uses um, maybe poison bolts. Because <coughs> it looked like the uh, enemy was uh, taking damage over time as soon as he uh, started hitting him from a distance. Of course, Kaya has a, uh, a weapon that does some type of damage, maybe poison, I don't know. We're back where we started. Just about. 
Could just put a marker on the map, I suppose. Okay, if I get to a path, I should follow it down. Shame that the radar doesn't actually show paths. enough shoes lying around so I don't know why Kaya decided to walk around barefoot this looks nice sets the mood Coast for a bit. Do that. Oh, well, first gotta check this. Dead outlaws. Yeah, walkways in the sea. Both good ways to get me to her my lunch. <laughs> the same. I think this also leads to that island so it's fine. far will level just throughout this whole game because that is so I don't really know how pr just how precious uh, learning skills are <laughs> learning points and I was kind of thinking it would be nice to have an extra point in um, some trophy requirements <laughs> we could make some extra money get some more materials from animals at the same time, it's just kind of a, a it's not a whole new sk skill, it's just a bit of an increase in the skill we I think have. we had better be careful here. Yeah. Ooh. Nope. 
I was about to mention that it's kind of annoying that sometimes you talk to people, talk to your companion, uh, especially. Without meaning to. And I think they addressed that in the in Elex 2. I think I've seen some gameplay where you actually have to hold the interact button for a while before you actually speak to people. That's probably a good idea. This looks kind of odd to be deserted. This is just, yeah, it just gives you armor. It does not give you any food, any uh, health. Actually does less damage. It does less damage, but it's worth more. That's odd. Yeah. A handcrafted berserker war bow. A great bow for s rope. A great bow for stopping spiders. Uncultivated cultivators cultivate laws. No. Uncultivated cultivators cultivate lawfully cultivated cultivations. <laughs> That's it in the... Wait, what? What the hell is that? Shit. They're attacking. Get up. Get up. Get up, everyone. say so. How many lockpicks do I have? I don't know. Yeah, it seems like the outlaws have had a little bit of a scuffle here with berserkers. <coughs> oh, that's not good. String people up. I'll take your wine. I don't know, 
just the um, the way this area is built seems quite elaborate. Kind of get the feeling maybe we're um, supposed to go here at some point. It looks unstable, but this thing has managed to kill me so far. Get the shock of their life tomorrow, those assholes. Then we'll see who has to crawl around in the dirt. After sundown, we'll be the new lords around here. We make the calls. It's their own fault for treating us like dirt. So let's meet above at the lift. Start. kind of thinking maybe um, maybe we're having a well we, we have gear we're fine but um, like a lot of gear we're finding has quite high um, needs needs a lot of stats to use um, I'm thinking maybe maybe that's the uh, rebalance mod I actually don't know if that's something the uh, rebalance mod does it probably looked into it more I don't think it was nece um, yeah, necessarily meant to make the game a whole lot harder or anything I don't think that's kind of I don't think that's that's the uh, point of it delivery note Two hundred arrows, fifteen axes, forty rifles. We weren't able to find any more of the axes that were ordered, but we still have scrap we can use for making them. Contract for Ray, thousand shard reward. Offer on Ray, a runner of the Outlaws of Tavar. Deliver him or proof of his death to the main entrance in the Fort of Midnight any day from today. A reward will be delivered to anyone completing this contract. Not wanted alive, wanted dead. <laughs> Body parts acceptable as proof, W. Well, Ray. We could just uh, hack something off and deliver it to him. And they'll think you're dead. Goes the rain again. Huh. I guess that's why, uh, what is kind of contested kind of the in between area. border between the land of the berserkers and the outlaws
Let's head back. I wanna, still want to go see the island. Might as well go back this way. here. Does he fit it all? Well, we're using it to hold something down. Been there. 
Oh, right. We're not allowed to go to the island? Okay, why would you store one here? I don't know. Let's see, can we walk there? Oh! Quick, 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 quick. That's annoying. There's this little uh, special attack there. High level. This one's mine. Is 
stamina, stamina, stamina. How are you doing over there, Ray? Eddie. Eddie's dead, baby. I don't know why he was named. He didn't seem to have anything special. Well, we couldn't talk to him, so I'll take it. Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? There you go. Bind cup. I'll take it. Got all this sulfur lying around. Let's take a look up there. Hmm. Back of cigarettes is 20. Okay. I wouldn't know. I guess you have different. I think there are different sizes of. Back cigarettes. I think some hold more than others. Oh, another one. Maybe I should just uh, try to put this on. You can change to it sometimes. I have a feeling. Actually, be better off with a two-hander. Maybe if you upgrade the one-hander, it's better. But I don't think that attack at the end is too good. It does too much damage. With the other one, the fights drag on too much. It is handy for. Um, People, tr enemies that use, well, kind of humanoid en enemies that use ranged weapons. So I could block uh, arrows and such pretty easily, so that's good. How 
we doing on XP? I guess we're getting pretty close. I can't really tell how far the bar goes. But yeah, 13 is the middle. I did see we do get a um, achievement for reaching level 20. But I no, that's not that is not a maximum level as I saw someone posted uh, posted a comment on uh, the quest I looked I think I searched for a quest and someone mentioned I was level that he was level 40 at the time so 20 is not max not by a long shot 40 maybe okay well we're getting to the island Teleporter there. Clerics. I don't think they show up as being enemies. That's good. Oh, I see. Let's go. Bundle of old world money. So much stash chum away. of an apocalypse or something close to it what would have what would be i think the next I, th I think i've heard mention that well i wouldn't say no matter what happens because if stuff goes really bad then anything goes but at some point it would everything would revert back to gold Listen, obey the will. Hmm. Okay. I'm guessing these are the uh, Infinite Skies uh, people. Old factory. Can we go in here? Those look like mines. What 
Let's see in here. Black house is on the far left. We found this way in the beginning. This is something with a white house. Yeah. This slip of paper contains one of the clues to decipher a code. Well, we got part one and two. Well, wrong button. Let's have a word with these people. See if they're talking any kind of sense. They seem to be having some sort of slave racket going on. No, sir. These outlaws are assholes, but somehow they find a way to stay alive out here. Okay. Before we speak, let's see, are we allowed to pick stuff up from here? Forbidden. Nope. Soul forbidden. Alright. Let's not mess around then. Hello, sir. Volkmar. May Kalan bless you. Now tell me, are you a son of Tavar? Did you swear allegiance to the Duke and his outlaws? Nope. What do you want to know? I'm planning to join I am not I am I'm not part of any faction. Why do you want to know? Why do you want to know? Why would you hide the answer? So, are you an outlaw? Nope. I'm not part of any faction. Then you can stay here as my guest. All clerics offer a hand to all free people. I hope one day you will come to serve Kalan. Remember my hospitality when you come to make your choice. What is your job here? What is your job here? We need a lot of raw materials to feed our smelting furnaces in Ignadan. Material that is essential for our fighting machines. And we can get those resources right here. Why here of all places? It's a long way from Ignadon. Here, we achieve two things at once. We acquire the resources we need, and we also deny them to the enemy. The Duke relies on profits to keep power. We cut off his profits and there's a chance his men will overthrow him. You're not worried about the Duke finding out where you are. You should be more worried about the outlaws attacking you. Hm. You're not worried about the Duke finding out where you are? We've been careful, but... I suppose I could use your help to learn if the Duke and his men know of our presence. Why should I help you? Because I can help you. And you won't be seen as a threat if you go to the fort. All you'll need to do is talk to a few people. The outlaws don't keep secrets. Kalan will see that you are well rewarded. Hmm. You should be more worried about the outlaws attacking you. We have persuaded those who found us to keep our presence a secret. These weak-minded outlaws cannot stand against Kalan's will. They'll take any order I suggest to them. You have to keep your orders simple, but if you do, even an outlaw can understand what they must do. How long will they obey you for? As long as I want it. In their eyes, I am their new god. Hmm. 
Wait, you used suggestion on the outlaws? Did they resist it? My rate of success was high, but suggestion isn't without problems. What problems? One outlaw resisted. He wasn't as dumb as he looked. I thought I got through to him, but I was wrong. He ran when he got the chance. And you let him get away? That wasn't the plan. He escaped in the night, so it was too dangerous to go after him. Out in that darkness, we could have blundered into a hundred outlaws trying to get that one back. I sent a patrol out to bring him back as soon as it was light. If he had told the other outlaws, they would be here already. And despite his resistance, our ex-prisoner is a coward. He's hiding out there somewhere. I want him, and I want my property back. Your property? Yes. When he got away, he stole my weapon. Just make sure I get my weapon back, and I guarantee him his life. Ah, uh, I guess we could do that. We, uh, I kind of don't like the... Well, if we have to, we'll, we'll do it, but I kind of don't like... <laughs> oh, man, I don't like any of the factions, really. Uh, so far, actually, the outlaws have seemed the most... Yeah, but... Uh, I don't like the clerics. I don't like the berserkers really. But yeah, we're going to go with the berserkers. But because it's kind of the canon thing to do. The berserkers haven't been horrible. These these clerics. Well. I guess it's more on a person to person basis, I guess. I guess. You know, we could we could run into some very um bad outlaws as well, because yeah, the, uh, if there's if there's no real... It seems like joining the Berserkers or joining the Outlaws or joining the uh, Clerics doesn't keep you from being an asshole. Clearly. But yeah, with with the Clerics it's prob probably the worst because they have this... Um, kind of have this, this weird... Uh, uh, well, not an ulterior motive, but... Because it's kind of uh, the kind of zealots, so it's extra, find it extra annoying to deal with them. But uh, let's see, maybe we can get his weapon back, get the outlaw to feel somewhat safer, or maybe, maybe I've, he did kill someone named Eddie. Maybe, maybe it was him. Although there was a reaver, there wasn't an outlaw. I can help you get your weapon back. Thank you. It is a scar on my honor to leave it in the hands of an outlaw. Bring it back to me. Bring it back. You think someone in the fort is interested in these ruins? The only person who might be calls himself the Scrap Baron. He trades salvaged scrap. Mm. The outlaws call him Mad Bob. I want you to go and find out if he knows anything. If he does, we will have to consider our next move. Take these shards as a down payment for your services. Mad Bob. I'm writing it now. Called the Scrap Baron Mad Bob. All right, well, I we got some free shards just by talking to him, I suppose. Gonna have a look around the Forbidden Lockpick. I might have some meat, actually. No, just one. Wood lice, meat dish. Yeah. Hang on, let me change up some stuff here. I want to put this back on one. I'm going to put this on six. I'm going to put this on seven. Talk to you. Let's see about someone else. All scrap must go to Ignadon. Forbidden Charmer. If 
forbidden stew. Ooh. I'm sorry, I just think it's funny that it says forbidden something. <coughs> the forbidden lockpick, the forbidden stew. Forbidden dining plate. It's forbidden. Oh. You guys really walk around with those creatures? <coughs> Serve Kalan. Okay. That is fine. Let's check the journal. Contract on Ray. Uh, urging threat. Notice I should ask her to forward. Okay, a test of courage. Yeah, heavy loss. I would lost all of them and escape for my points as well. Okay. Yeah. We could do that. Well, we found out what the island is about. Cleric zealots. And slave labor. Oh, that reminds me. Well, sort of. I was, um... I was watching... Ooh. It's fire lizards. <laughs> what? watching Castlevania the uh, animated show and I really liked the first season and I thought oh, this doesn't seem like your average uh, kind of Netflix series that has certain oh you know elements into it that don't really help the story along much they're just there for certain reasons um, but yeah those those came came in really heavily in uh, season two sadly So far, I've not seen any upgrades for the jetpack. It might be just that it stays like this. You seem Fuck to be. You. Yep. Uh. Crap. Uh. And you're in my way. Oh, my God. 
up here. Alright. Oh, we could just skip him. There we go. Go. Fried meat. I'll take it. Sixty-seven meat. Yeah, it was probably a good idea to get uh, the skill that that um, enhances our uh, food consumption, health, regen. Pop in. Oh, that looks like a bad one. We might skip him, but let's see. Of course, we miss. Again, they put him somewhere not in even ground. And 
enemy makes a special attack. Yep, we might be dead. Well, awesome loot to show for it. Grabs. Just enemies. No, no way of talking to. Won't get to away with that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Oh, they're all skulls. Forget it. We're not messing with him. Getting close. Rain is the biggest enemy. That creature down the middle. I think we're uh, pretty fair and square there. Eh? He's way up there. All right. Uh. You know what? I think I'll call the episode here for now. Next time, I th that looks to be a way up. Then we'll go around and go and have a look. But I'm guessing we'll be running into quite a lot of uh, things before we reach him. So, yeah. It'll be a good one for next time. So. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. And goodbye for now. <laughs>